Hi, I'm Lynn Morgan, your Slippershod Pastor. As I've mentioned before, we were walking along with the Israelites in their exodus from slavery to freedom, and we find ourselves at this point in the story deep into the desert where there isn't a reliable source of food and water, a reality that was not lost on the Israelites, who complained about this in trepidation and also in some anger to Moses and to God. And so God provides to them manna. Now, manna is an odd thing. We have no idea what manna was, if it was. But the way it's described is though it's like a, a substance that one can eat that comes every night like dew falling on the ground. It has to be gathered first thing in the morning. You can't wait till the sun hits it because it will melt away. But it can be stored for the day's use. If you store more than you can use in a day and keep it overnight, it gets mealy and rotten and awful and you don't want to go near it. It's disgusting. Except once a week there's a miracle that allows the Israelites to gather twice as much as they need so that they can eat on the Sabbath from this manna without having harvested it, therefore avoiding doing work on the Sabbath. Well, we could fall down the rabbit hole wondering what manna was. And by the way, that's the Hebrew word for it. What is this? Manna. And you can imagine the first time they saw it, that must have been what they said. And we've all had meals like that, right? So the manna regulations were important for them, that they couldn't save it for tomorrow, that they had to harvest it every day. And if we allow ourselves to enter into that experience that they were having imaginatively, we can learn some of what they learned, which is that every day they looked for God's providence. And every day they had to trust that that providence would be there for them and that it would be enough. Now, I don't know that it ever took away the anxiety that one day they would leave their tent in the morning and there wouldn't be any manna on the ground. But it was there consistently throughout their whole journey. I think that it's manna that Jesus would have us think of when he offers that phrase in the Lord's Prayer, give us this day our daily bread. So many of the things that we worry about, that I worry about, are not things that are happening today, but they're prospects that loom out on the horizon months or years or decades ahead that trouble me, that cause me to wonder how I will be provided for in those moments and whether I'll have resources, both material, but also internal and, and strength of character to face them. And Jesus reminds us that this spiritual life of ours is not about wondering about what's way out there, but it's trusting about the God who provides for us day by day the bread that we need, the provisions for our life, the strength and the joy and the peace that we need for this day, that it comes to us like manna, and we need to go out each day in grateful joy and harvest what God has given us and trust that tomorrow there will be another harvest and that each day God will provide for us all that we need. Amen.